but I found you. Here's Adam Atreore. I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that... Can you believe it? Something truly special. Derecha, izquierda, derecha, izquierda, derecha, izquierda, derecha, izquierda. Bienvenidos chicos y hoy mira mi jugadores favorito, Adama Traore Diara. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're looking at the Spanish mad lad himself for Wolves. Uh, got himself this in form for a 2-0 defeat versus reigning Manchester City, uh, versus reigning Premier League champions, Manchester City. If you're a Manchester City supporter, you might have already clicked off this video if you saw the thumbnail. Uh, but uh, today we are looking at Adama Traore, an absolute beast, maybe the most beast mode player that we have in FIFA 20 as of right now. Um, and uh, one of those videos that I absolutely love doing, he's like a hero, a zero to hero type guy, as Matt would say, goes from a silver card, gets all, uh, gets a huge upgrade, is now a gold card, and uh, just one of those cards in the game that just really doesn't even make sense based on uh, some of the stats that he has in game, but uh, we are going to dive into it, a lot of you guys requested this, uh, so we are doing an epi on Adama Traore on this fine Saturday. Now before we go any further, I do want to talk about how people have described Adama Traore. Some people might not know. He's only 23 years old. He started off at the Barca Youth Academy, if I'm not mistaken. He was born in La Hospitalite in Spain. And then, uh, yeah, played for the Barcelona B side. Uh, 63 appearances, had eight goals there. And um, anything else that I'm missing there, he has represented Spain at the under 16, 17, 19, and 21 levels. And then I'm not sure if he's got the call up to the national team quite yet. Uh, one knock on him is that he's maybe a little bit consistent and very, very raw. Obviously, still, uh, still young enough to be able to um, put some things together. But you know, you score two goals in the Premier League against Manchester City, you add something to, uh, you got a notch in your belt that you're able to add to your resume. But uh, the Guardian reported Triori has always been regarded as a diamond in the rough, lightning quick, but perhaps lacking composure of. A an end pro or an end product. Per 90 minutes, nobody in the Premier League has created more chances than the 22-year-old completed even half the number of successful dribbles. Eden Hazard had 5.56 to Triore's 11.87. Uh, Nuno Espirito Santo has so far refrained from starting Traore in the league, such is, his, such is his ability off the bench to stretch the game and punish uh, tired legs. Now, um, that is probably how you're probably going to use this card, unless you want to start him at right back. He's got no defending whatsoever. You can play him on six chem as a winger, and uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start him at right back, and we're going to take him up per channel lore and try him out at striker with some of the stats that he has. But uh, if you guys do enjoy this sort of, sort of a not hidden gem, but sort of like a... You guys, you guys know we love this. You tar, the, the Dario Tadic's of the world, the 80 and 81 rated informs. This is this is where those cards live. It's on this channel. Uh, and if you guys are hyped for this episode, yeah, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now getting started, he's got two star weak foot, four star skill moves, which is pretty sick. Um, and then if we go into the stats, they're a varied bunch indeed. 68 finishing, so we're gonna jack that off with the sniper chem style. 98 acceleration, 90, 97 sprint speed. I don't think there's a player in the game that has more in terms of that combo on the base card uh, sorry uh, just on the base rating um, in terms of shot power, it's 87, so that's fine. Uh, he also has himself no long shots uh, to speak of, but then we get to the dribbling stats. He's already got 86, goes up to 96 with the sniper, has 90-plus uh, balance, has 99 dribbling with the sniper chem style, and then we go over to physical stats, and he's got 87 strength with 78 stamina and 78 jumping. So the combination stats we're looking at here are the 87 strength. We're looking at the fact that he's got 99 dribbling with the sniper chem style. We're looking at the fact that he's got 98 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, and 90 96 agility and 90 plus balance, 94 balance to be specific with the sniper chem style. So a very crazy, crazy looking card, right footed. So we're going to play him at right striker. Doesn't know, don't know how this card is going to translate to in game. We're going to see if Adama Traore with that strength, with that acceleration, with that agility, with that speed. Um, and then now hopefully with the sniper finishing, we're going to see if he can get it done at right striker. Match number one, he's from Spain. Vamos. <laughs> It's the Spanish Mad Lad versus the Spanish Mad Lad. Adama Traore versus Inaki Williams. Here's Adama Traore. Oh my God! Look at the hair. Yo, I love when I love when a player episode comes together like this, where he's just the complete package. Strength, pace. That's pretty much it. Dr I'm dribbling. That's not fair. Dribbling and then incredible, incredible hair. <laughs> Adama Traore! Adama Traore! 
he's getting it done, boys. What an absolute hero, bro. He doesn't even look like he, he looks like he's... What is that haircut, bro? Dude, they did not do a good job on his uh, on his muscles. This guy is jacked. Look at his arms. Dude, I've got bigger arms than him in real... I mean, not in real life, but I've got bigger arms than him... Bigger arms than him in the virtual game, dude. He needs himself a big set of arms, dude. Yeah, can we do something about that? Can we give Hadama Traore some freaking muscles? Body faint. And, he'll and get then the finish of dreams. Adama Traore can actually get complete. it done through 15 minutes in. And we've already got two goals from the freaking try. If this episode doesn't prove that a sniper cam style actually does increase finishing to plus 15... I mean, what else do you really need? We do science experiments here on the channel, guys. That's, that's one of the things I pride myself on. Why is that? I don't know, Chef! It's not good enough! Yo, Bert Leno, I'm not gonna lie. Bert Leno's been very disappointing. I played a couple games with him last night as well. N not, a, uh, not a convincing 84 rated keeper. Spend the extra 1,000 coins and get yourself a, a Kepa. Because Baron Leno's been very, very inconsistent for me. You're shit! Yes, Chef, I am. You are so shit, it's unbelievable. Jesus, man. He can't keep anything out of the net. He's out of the triple and the Wolves are in front. Can you believe it? No, he did it? not finish that. Dude, I fired that blindly. Thinking that I was just going to use his pace and acceleration to get by. I knew the moment that the ball left Zaha's foot for the for the through ball that Adama Traore is going to be able to separate. I didn't think he was going to be that blistering fast. But not only does he get away, but he manages to put it through the keeper too. Through one half a play, boys. I don't really know what to say, man. Three total attempts, three goals. He is perfect. So far, he's been perfect. I'm not, I'm not going to say that he's going to be perfect for the rest of this game. I'm not going to say he's going to be perfect for match number two. But based on the first half of match number one... He is the worst keeper that I've used. Tim Sherwood, Triari's manager at Villa, compared him to both Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, saying he had a bit of both. Oh God! Like, why? Why would a manager say that about a player? Like, that's just too—that's just too much gas. You know what I mean? Like, that's hyping him up too much. Skills. You're shit. Yes, Chef, I am. You are so shit, it's unbelievable. Oh, God, what is this game? Zaha and Traore combined are the Infinity Gauntlet. That's his first save of the game. We're 89 minutes into the game, and that's his first save. So Adama Traore is probably going to get himself made of the match, right? Yes. A perfect 10 rating for Adama Traore, Traore. Three goals. Gets himself two assists as well. So in a game where we scored five goals, he has five goal contributions. 17 out of, 20, uh, 17 out of 29... Uh, dribbles completed and just a very very solid performance now Baron Leno that is not a 7.1 how many saves did he make Baron Leno had four saves that's such BS that's not true I, uh, that's not true dude he had way less saves than that Let's go, dude. Yo, Adama Traore, pace every bit, um, pace is every, every bit is advertised. 90 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. He is just, he flies by any defender. <laughs> 
when your keeper's so trash that you need your uh, center backs to play keeper as well. The dribbling is the, the dribbling's a bit mad too, dude. Don't ever un, don't underestimate the dribbling. You see the 87 strength, you see him be in absolute freaking beast mode, and you think to yourself, you know what? He of course he can't have dribbling. You can't have it all. You can't have strength, dribbling, and pace and acceleration. He has it all. He's literally the complete package. Outside of finishing, of course. But that doesn't seem to be an issue with the chem style that we put on him. Why are you running? Because we've got Adama Traore and freaking Wilfred Zaha up top. Now, uh, in terms of usability, I, I, I legitimately... I'm convinced that you probably could get away with using him as a winger. Um, as a striker, I'm not sure... I mean, this, epi th this episode so far hasn't given me any indication... Um, telling me that you shouldn't try him out at striker. Again, he goes for about, what was it? It cost me about 25, 26,000 coins. So if you compare that to the price of Azaha, who's obviously a more complete card, I think you probably want to play him at winger. Gone. Here's Adam Atreore, and Wolves are in front. <laughs> Can you believe it? Scored. He's got a hidden composure stat. I'm convinced of it. The mad lad himself, Adama Traore. What is that? That was five goal contributions in the first match and already has two goals in this second one. Seven goal contributions in not even two matches played, man. I was expect When I saw that 68 finishing, I was expecting him not to be able to put anything through. Like maybe, I don't know, like a 35, 40% conversion rate. But dude, he is literally more clinical than a lot of strikers that I've used that, are, that, that, are, uh, that, that ship with better finishing. That's li that's the only shot he's missed. <laughs> Get me out. I think I'm done. I'm done with FIFA. For oh, offside. <laughs> Am I? None of you work as a team. Another crazy crazy match from Adama Traore gets himself seven goal contributions in the two matches that we used him in and he does nothing but show up 8.6 for Traore gets himself a goal oh wait oh, I'm sorry wait who scored Bernard scored the other one never mind but um Adama Traore uh Bernard scored the rebound that Adama Traore should have put past so that's six goal contributions in uh two matches played so a very very strong effort from the main man himself, Adama Traore. Now, I'm gonna do this a little bit unorthodox and I'm not even gonna give a value or a performance rating. I'm just gonna give a fun rating. In terms of players that I've used in FIFA 20 that have just been fun to use, I'm gonna give him a five out of five. Uh, Adama Traore, man, the moment I saw him in the team of the week, I knew it was gonna be a, it was gonna be a fun episode to do. And I knew that you guys were gonna wanna see that as well. But uh, like I asked at the beginning of the epi, if any of you guys have used him, let me know if you play him at striker, let me know if you play him at uh, right back, right wing back, or winger. And uh, I would recommend definitely trying him out, not only as right striker, but also as right winger, because he does have 79 crossing. And uh, that is a pretty decent stat for an 80 rated card. The entire stat line on the, uh, the all the stats on his card are, are pretty insane for, for an 80 rated. That's why uh, Future Stars is so much fun, is you get these silver unusables, and then they turn into like 85, 86, 88 rated. Uh, and in my opinion, that's probably just the most fun thing in FIFA, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just crazy or maybe I'm just me. Maybe that's just how I am. Maybe I'm just a little bit special, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Yeah. As always, boys, if you did drop a like on the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. going to be playing another 10 matches of weekend league over on the mixer channel. That link will be in the description below. I'm uh, going to be going hard tonight, probably anywhere between six and seven hours, uh, probably about an hour and a half, two hours after you watch this video. But, uh, like I always say, boys, hopefully you have enjoyed and I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.